Welcome to the installation and configuration guide for the Rolex Quantum Intelligent EV Charging Pedestal. Inside the box you will find one Quantum EV charge point, one rubber mat, one Rolex EV Connect setup guide tag, one socket ID label per charging outlet, and one installation and operation manual. Depending on the type of ground, you may also require a ground mounting base, sold separately. If you are using a ground mounting base for the installation, prepare the ground and place the ground mounting base in the desired location. Make sure the power supply cable and, if required, the Ethernet cable and load balancing CT cable are fed upward through the middle of the pedestal mounting position. Concrete the base into place and allow time for it to set. Alternatively, the quantum pedestal may also be surface mounted without the requirement for a ground mounting base in appropriate locations. Use the rubber mat as a template to mark out the mounting positions and source appropriate fixings for the type of ground. Cut an X-shaped slit in the rubber mat, in the position where the incoming cables will pass through. Place the mat onto the ground mounting base and pass the incoming cables through the X. Remove and retain the fixings that secure the front fascia panel to the pedestal chassis and carefully ease the panel away from the unit. Create a hole in the base of the pedestal aligned with the X in the mat to allow incoming cables to enter the pedestal enclosure. Carefully lower the pedestal into position and secure it using appropriate fixings for the location. If load balancing is required, install the CT clamp by positioning it around the live cable between the meter and the consumer unit. Make sure the arrow on the clamp points in the direction of electrical flow towards the consumer unit. Route the CT clamp cable back to the charge point and connect it to the CT connector on the charge controller PCB. Connect one wire to the H plus terminal and the other wire to the H minus terminal on the connector. Route the incoming supply cable through the pedestal and attach to the gland plate using an appropriate cable gland. Connect the supply cable to the live, neutral and earth terminals. If required, connect the Ethernet cable to the smart communications module. Make sure all debris is removed from the enclosure and that all cable connections are secure and have not become loose or damaged in transit or during installation. Once you are satisfied the installation is complete, replace the front panel and secure it to the pedestal chassis. Attach the socket ID labels for the chosen charge point management system above each socket. If using the supplied Vend Electric ID labels, it is important for each label to be correctly positioned. The suffix of the UK EV number must be matched with the respective socket position in the diagram. Power up the charge point and open the Rolex EV Connect app. If you don't already have the app on your device, scan the QR code on the front of the Rolex EV Connect setup guide tag or search for it on the App Store or Google Play Store. Sign in and follow the on-screen prompts to install a new charge point. For commercial installations, enter a project name and click Next. Press the Add Charge Point button and scan the QR code label on the back of the Rolex EV Connect setup guide tag. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled to connect to the charge point. Once connected, you will be taken to the charge point configuration screen. If you have installed a load balancing CT clamp, make sure to input the correct rating for the main fuse for the load balancing feature to operate correctly. Enter the correct settings for the charge point, such as the number of connectors, the maximum charging output, and the chosen back office system. To connect the charge point to a network, Open the Network Interface drop-down menu in the Connectivity section to choose either GSM, Wi-Fi or Ethernet and enter the relevant network information. Once you have entered the correct settings, you may save a preset of the current configuration for use again later. Press Set to run the configuration and return to the project screen. To test the charge point, open the pop-up menu and select Test. Choose the number of the connector you wish to test plug into an EV charge point test adapter and press the start test button. When the test is complete, repeat the process for any further connectors on the charge point and return to the project screen. Once the charge point has been configured correctly and all tests have been passed, open the pop-up menu and select installation complete. 
press the yes button and hit update to change the status of the charge point to installation complete. The charge point is now fully installed and ready for onboarding to the selected back office. Refer to the back office service provider's instructions to proceed with the onboarding process.